What's up, guys? How you doing? Oh my God, freaking miss y'all. Listen, let me let me put this here a little bit. I'm at the car service. I'm doing an oil change, and you know, rotating on tires and whatsoever. And I want to talk about, you know, buying or purchasing a used car or purchasing a new car. When you come to the United States, you know, Avant is going to throw deals at you to purchase a brand new car. They give you a $25,000 loan and tell you to use it and then uh, to use it to your advantage. And then, um, you know, people get, especially when you come from overseas, let me park here a little bit, especially when you come from overseas and you are in the moment, you just came to the United States, everything is easy and accessible and you just want a new ride, fresh life. So you go and you want to buy a brand new car. And that's what happens most of the time. People go ahead and buy those uh, Jeep Cherokees, uh, like Toyota RAV4 or, you know, those those expensive cars which are on the high end um, more than or almost at $25,000. And, and I know some of, of Avant nurses, they actually use the $25,000 loan and and they add it on it. So they paid out of pocket like two or three thousand dollars to get their dream car which is like a Cherokee or, you know, whatever, like 2018 or 2019, whenever you're watching this. But, you know, when, when, I, when I came, I came back in 2017, everyone was buying brand new cars. And I say, what the heck? People are just stacking bills. And, you know, when you, when you use the whole 25 grand to purchase a car, uh, then you end up by a bill, you end up with a bill of, Four hundred and thirty dollars. You might think this is ah, uh, this is not too much, but four hundred and thirty dollars for sixty-six month months. Forty-five, four hundred thirty-three, four hundred thirty dollars for sixty-six months. That's a lot of money, because after that, you're gonna have a lot of bills. You're gonna have your rent. You're gonna have your um, water, your electricity, your gas. You're gonna have your um, your internet, you're going to have your, um, what else? You're going you're gonna to have other bills. I've made other videos. I'm going to link like my recent video up here that talk about expenses, but you see my expenses. I didn't even buy a brand new car, right? I bought a used car and I pay 316, $321, dollars a month. And this is a huge bill. You know, a hundred dollar bill makes a big difference. You know, I hear it a lot. I know every single Avant nurse in the United States, not every single Avant nurse, but, you know, from my YouTube channel, a lot of people reach out to me and they say, you know, talk about stuff and brainstorm and, you know, a lot of them regret buying a new car because as soon as you drive that brand new car off the parking lot, it's like the depreciation, the appreciation, the appreciation rate, what, what do you call it? But I mean, the price drops. So if you, if you want to like turn around around the block and then get back into the like company and you want to sell it, it drops at least three, four thousand dollars. What about after a year? You know, I bought a used car and I always advise for used cars. I bought in 2017, I bought the 2016 Grand Caravan. Let me show you my car a little bit. It's a mini they call it the mini caravan, but basically, this is my car. This is my car, 2016, better than ever. I I had this car for a year and a half now. Look, look at all these used cars. Come on, look at this. American cars, Hyundai, Lincoln, Nissan, Ford. I mean, this lot, rickridings.com, go check it out. Oh, my God, amazing cars. I'm telling you, brand new. I mean, I don't 
I don't know what's the difference between a used car, which is almost brand new, and a brand new car. Like when I bought this car, there was zero dust, zero dust in the car. It ran smoothly. You don't hear anything in the engine. You don't hear anything in the gear. I mean, until today, till today, almost 80, more than a year and a half, I've been in the United States. And this car has been awesome, running smoothly. I've changed oil um, twice now. But man, I cannot stress enough. Don't waste money. If I wanted to buy this car brand new, I would have paid around $27,000. But I bought it with $16,900. I know registration and everything. Everything was inclusive in the loan, so I didn't pay anything out of pocket. I think, like, the last check that that I gave to the to the um, car dealership was seventeen thousand five hundred something like that. I don't remember quite uh, frankly, but it was around seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. So imagine this: you're paying, you're putting a loan on you for sixty six months for seventeen thousand five hundred dollars, or you want to add ten grand to that. You know, it's it's. I don't want people when they come to the United States, they feel that you know urge or Oh my God, Mo! New life, fresh start. You know, I wanna. I gotta drive around the lot, show you some of the cars here. But man, some of the cars here are amazing, and the price is ridiculous, like crazy, crazy. I don't wanna say crazy cheap, but crazy affordable. So why would you go and buy a freaking brand new car? When you can get every single, look at that, Kia, Hyundai, look at those, Flex, I don't know what that is, I think it's Ford or something, Chrysler, those are the Chrysler minivans, look at that, the parking lot, look at the Nissan, Kia, oh my god, look at those, Toyota, this is I think the this Toyota, most, most of the guys from like Africa or they like this Toyota or um, Philippines. Look at those muscle cars, man. If you're a bachelor, if you're single and you want like a sports car, look at those, man. Most things. Wow. Wow. Look at this Camaro. Wow. Are you freaking kidding me? Why, if you want to buy a brand new car of that, look at this Nissan. 26 grand. Well, this is a sports car. Look at the BMWs. Look at the Mercedes. Mercedes. Whatever you want to pronounce it. Look at all those cars. And man, you freaking tell me. I'm going to show you the trucks a little bit. I'm not sure if I can drive over there. But if you want like a four wheel, like a big truck, pickup truck, they call them. Oh my God, they are everywhere. But why would you? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the prices in a bit, because the prices are available on the cars. Well, let me show you. This Dodge is for five thousand five hundred dollars. All right. This Honda is for eight thousand dollars. I would not buy that. I would buy this is for seven thousand dollars. I would buy like. This is the place, Rick Ridings. It's um, it's fairly famous here in the uh, like in Illinois. Look at this Ford. How nice is that? How nice does that look? So sexy. I'm gonna drive around the lot a little bit just to show you guys, give you a fair idea. But I want I wanna. I want to drive around the truck area. Where are those trucks? Let me see. Not sure if I should be driving here. This is like the uh, service service area. Now they would say, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm making a YouTube video. I want to give value to my subscribers. 
to my fellow nurses. I want to give value to y'all. Yeah, I was just here at the service. I did my car service. They they um they flipped the tires, you know, rotate the tires. Um, they made sure that all the fluid. Look at this. Look at this. This Chevrolet Impala is for nineteen thousand five hundred dollars. Is that a bad deal? No. Are you gonna go? And I I bet this is like twenty seventeen. Are you gonna go and buy a brand new car? No. Stupid. Stupid decision. Look at this. Sixteen thousand dollars for Focus. I bet this is twenty seventeen. Telling you guys, it is super crazy to go buy a brand new car and waste all your money. Waste all your money buying a brand new car. Let me see. Not sure if I can drive here, but you know, those Nissans. This is for the Toyota RAV4 for 24. 24,000. This on the high end is Honda for 19 or 18,400. Look at this Honda. I think it's nice. Hyundai, 19,500. And go check them brand new and you're going to see the difference. This GMC, 19,500. Oh my God, look at that. And you see, like you can choose whatever the fuck you want to choose brand new car look at this chevrolet twenty four thousand five hundred dollars and you're still within your budget you know but man i'm telling you i'm freaking telling you if you and the pickup trucks are you know maybe on the other side i'm gonna turn around because that guy's blocking the way and i'm not sure if i'm supposed to be here but um i'm gonna turn around uh, go back. I showed you enough. Um, I think now you have an idea. Don't freaking buy new cars. Don't let, you know, Avant, sometimes they try to fool you. They get deals. The more, the more you, you know, buy a brand new car, look at this. You know, Rick Ridings. But, you know, I just want to say the more... The more you use the loans, I bet Avant has, or, you know, other agencies, if you're from other agencies, they have a deal going on with those banks. Um, the, the, the higher the, the amount of money that you guys uh, take as a loan, the more, the more you're going to pay, the more, the more they benefit. It's, it's business. I just want you to understand it is a business for them and you're fairly new in the United States. You trust them because they brought you into the country. Um, they're your family here and whatever. And I'm not bashing Avant. Like Avant are amazing or at least, you know, for nurses here in the United States, they are amazing. Um, now they are, I, I believe they are overwhelmed. They have a lot of, you know, they overgrew themselves. That's why if you're international, if you're not watching this and you are overseas and you are with Avant, you, I bet you've noticed, I don't want to go on the highway, so I'll just go here a little bit. I bet you've noticed that uh, they're not replying to emails very well. They're not, you know, customer service are not top notch. Um, sometimes you're getting, um, you know, like, I want 40 denials and whatever, and they're not explaining their, themselves or they're not explaining. It's, it's not their fault, but. They're not explaining it to the international nurse so that they would, you know, they do not recognize the level of anxiety and fear and depression and, you know, worry that international nurse have. There's a park right here. I'm going to go in a little bit. They do not recognize that. And, you know, one comforting email. Can I go with this? Yes. One comforting email from them. You know, whenever some of the shit happens, would be amazing. But sometimes they don't, you know. Other agencies, Passport USA, are doing a better job with customer service. 
and and that is, you know, it is what it is. I think they overgrew themselves and they need to focus more on the international Mars. All right, so look at this park right here. It is beautiful, it is beautiful. Um, the United States, man. It is the land of opportunities, yes, freaking yes. It is, it, oh my God, look at that. Look at that, how beautiful is that? This is one one of the parks here. You know, you, you know, United States. Every if you're if you're still watching by this far, like sixty minutes in, man, you're a true off slice supporter. Please drop a comment down below. Tell me that you're watching. Tell me that you support this brand. You support this lifestyle. And hey, if you want to grab merch, down in the description box. Shame, shame. How do you say it? Shameless plug. Anyways. It is freaking beautiful. You know, I always say the United States is a land of opportunities. Some people come here and they're, I don't want to say they're losers, but you know, like Americans in the United States, uh, not, a, not, not a lot of Americans uh, appreciate, you know, what they have, like the privileges that they have. The opportunities that they have and they just live life they chill they do not they do not take advantage of the opportunities here they take it for granted well international or immigrants in general i don't want to say international nurse but immigrants in general they have that itch you know that hustle mentality that they want to make it not just in nursing or whatever field that you come in with like whatever skilled immigration visa you got but you know I, I speak for me like nurses all the immigrant nurses that i know they have that itch to hustle and to make money and to bring value to others and it's amazing so not a lot not not a lot of people succeed you know like immigrants but they have that mentality when opportunity presents itself they'll take advantage of it which is amazing. I cannot point one thing, one negative thing, and I've said this in multiple videos, but I cannot, I cannot point to one single negative thing that happened to me in the United States since since, since I came. It has been all positive. Everything is amazing. I feel blessed every single day. I'm grateful to every every single opportunity that you know, comes my way, I've been loving it, family is amazing, you know, my kids, Jude, Noah, oh my god, the webinar starts tonight, you know, the October webinar starts tonight, people are excited, I have a couple of nurses who know each other, and they can, like, group study, and whatever, but yeah, business is great, my full-time job is great, uh, Family is great. My mom is here. She's been enjoying it. Now it's it's getting into fall season. You know, the the leaves are falling. In a bit, you know, the trees will change color. The leaves actually will change color. It will be mm, fucking beautiful. And I'm gonna we'll, we're gonna make photo shoots, me and Amani, uh, when you know the fall hits. It's gonna be amazing. Last year we missed it. We were we were we're overwhelmed with a lot of stuff. But yes, car deals. Don't don't do a mistake. I I know a lot of avant nurses who took that, you know, brand new car and took advantage of the whole loan. And some of them paid out of pocket. But now your insurance is up, your service is up, your um your registration every year is up, your um what else? And you stack a big bill on yourself for 66 months. They totally regret it. I know a couple of avant nurses who are behind on their payments. And you know, when you get behind on, on, your, on your payments, then there is like a late fee, interest. And you know, oh my God, it's crazy. If you do not 
if you do not deliver payments on time here in the United States, you are fucked up, literally. So anyways, that's it. Tell me about your thoughts. Drop it down in the comments. I'm going to do some grocery shopping and then gonna go back home. I might go on a run before I have breakfast. It's still 9 a.m. actually. So I'm going to go on a run. I want to lose some weight. This business has been killing me. Last night, I was working till like 2 a.m. on study plans for people. You know, like students who finish my webinar, finish the four weeks, and then they don't sit for their exam in like another four weeks or six weeks or eight weeks. So you don't want to leave them to themselves. You know, sometimes they might slack. They might take like a three, four week break and then get back to studying. So I don't want that because they might fail. They might underestimate. They will lose that, you know, that edge, you know, the sharpness that you have everything in mind. You memorize everything. You So I, I try to put a plan after they finish. Okay, when is your test? When you book your test, let me know. I'll put a plan for you over four weeks, six weeks. And that takes a lot of freaking time because you're customizing a plan for every single person. With the dates and the days and the times. Do this in the morning. Do this in the afternoon. Do this in the evening. I mean, I'm happy to do it. As long as you freaking follow it. But yes, um, last night I was up to like 2, 3 a.m. You know, just putting plans out there. I have a lot of footage. I have a lot of videos. I want to, you know, like edit them, put them out. But there's only 24 hours a day. I hired a person, his name is Joe. He is a moderator for my, you know, webinars. He might reply to emails, not emails yet, but he might reply to like comments and um, he's taking over, you know, the website. If there's any technical difficulties for people purchasing the webinar or, um, you know, during the webinar, they might, they, they won't like, if they register late or they, if let's say the webinar starts at 9 and they come at 9.30. And I'm sorry, I'm on a ramble here. I'm on a ramble? Ramble? I'm renting. I'm on a rent here. I'm on a rent here, so I'm renting. Uh, usually I do this on my Patreon. It's like my therapy sessions. If you are not on my, my Patreon, go. Check out my Patreon. It's $5 a month. But, hey, I talk business. I talk personal life struggles, goals, obstacles, business, did I say business, work, family, did I, am I repeating myself, yeah, but I talk about a lot of shit, go support your boy, five dollars a month, all right, so, uh, I was saying, yeah, so Joe's gonna be helping me with, you know, IT stuff, it's not that I don't know it, I mean, I built everything for from the ground up. So I know what's going on. But I don't have time for that shit. And sometimes on the webinar, you know, if you have 20 students, 25 students, and, you know, they're dropping comments, man, like, you cannot read all the comments. And some people, they get frustrated. Oh, you're not, you're not answering me. You're not. Hey, listen, if I didn't get to your question, I finish webinars at like 12 midnight, 1 a.m. I still go and read every single comment or every single question before I go to sleep to make sure I reply to it, you know, privately in a WhatsApp message or on an email. But anyways, right, this has been too long. Don't, don't. If you get one advice from this video, do not freaking buy a new car, all right? Until next time, guys, be an alpha slice.